Welcome to my lecture online. Another way in which we can relate voltage and get a better understanding of voltage is to relate it to work done by moving charges through an electric field. So here we have the same situation as in the previous video. We have two metal plates, extra charge, extra positive charge on the left plate, extra negative charge on the right plate. Let's now say that we have, again, an electric field between the plates equal to 100 newtons per coulomb directed in the positive x direction. And now we're going to place a charge between the plates, let's say right over here, and we're going to push that charge across from the negative side to the positive side. That's going to require a force, and we have that indicated by the purple F here. So the force is going to push the charge Q from right to left, and let's assume that Q is equal to 1 1,000th of a coulomb. So the force needed to push it from the negative side to the positive side against the electric field, we're going to need a force equal to the force of the, that the electric field causes on that charge. The force of the electric field on the charge is going to be the magnitude of the field times the size of the charge. So this force must be equal to EQ in order to push it across to the other side. Again, the distance between them is 2 meters, and we can assume that the potential at A is higher than the potential at B. Again, the electric field always emanates from where there's a higher potential to where there is a lower potential. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to find the work done by moving a charge from the right side to the left side. To do that, we multiply the force applied times the displacement, and that's going to be a dot product, so it's the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the angle, the cosine of the angle between them. In this case, the direction of the force and the direction of the displacement because we're moving from here to here, it's going to be the same, and therefore the angle between them is zero, and so therefore the cosine of zero is going to be equal to one. So we have the magnitude, so the force is going to be E times Q, so we have 100 newtons per coulomb, a charge of 1 1,000th of a coulomb, and two meters of displacement times a cosine of zero, which is one, that gives us 0.2 newton meters. That's the work required to move a charge Q of 0 0.001 coulomb from here to here. So we can now define the potential difference by looking at the work done by the force that's pushing the charge across, and we can define it as being the difference in the potential, which is VA minus VB, and of course we know that VA is a higher potential, VB is a low potential, so that should give us a positive difference, and it can be defined as the voltage calculated by, doing, by taking the work that we had to do to move the charge from B to A, divided by the charge. So the voltage in this case is defined as the work done by moving the charge from here to here, divided by the size of the charge. So the work done was 0.2 newton meters, the size of the charge is 0 0.001 coulomb, and if we divide that we get 200 joules per coulomb or 200 volts, which is of course the same as we got in the previous video. So you can see that we can also find the voltage as defined by the work done to move a charge divided by the size of that charge, and again to move a charge within an electric field. Now if we had moved the charge perpendicular to the field, then the angle would be 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 is zero, and that would take no work at all. So you can see that if you move a charge perpendicular to the field, that requires no work at all, which means there's no change in the potential no change, there's not going to be any potential difference as you move perpendicular across the field, but if you move in the same direction of the field, either against the field or with the field, there's going to be a potential difference. Now sometimes the work done can also be referred to the work done by the force of the electric field, F sub B, which is also E times Q. So if we don't push it and we allow the charge, well, in this case, if we're going to take the charge from here to here, but the force of the electric field is doing the work, well, in that case, we're going to have the work done by the electric field, which is the difference in potential. Well, the difference in potential, which is VB minus VA, is going to be the work done by the electric field divided by Q. Now, here, the difference is that the work done by the electric field going from B to A 
is going to be negative work. Negative work because the force the electric field pushes to the right and the displacement from B to A is to the left. So the cosine of 180 degrees is minus 1. So instead of getting 200 joules per coulomb, we get a, nine, a minus 200 joules per coulomb. So this is the work done divided by the charge. When we look at the work done by the force that pushes the charge across, or we can look at the work done by the electric field as the charge goes from the right side to the left side, and that's going to be negative work because the force by the electric field is in the opposite direction as the displacement, so we end up with a potential difference of minus 200 volts. That's where the confusion comes in sometimes. What is doing the work? If it's a force pushing it, then the work done is VA minus VB as we travel from B to A. If it's the electric field that's doing the work, then the difference in potential is going to be VB minus VA, because in this case, the force of the electric field is pushing in the opposite direction as the force that needs to push the charge across the or through the field like that. And so therefore, you can see that sometimes you end up with a positive voltage, a negative voltage. Don't worry about it. You just realize, hey, if we have an electric field, the potential is high over here and it's low over there. And it can be defined as the work done divided by the charge. And keep in mind the charge, the sign depends upon which force you're using to do the calculation for the work done. And that's how we can also define the voltage as simply being the work to move a charge through an electric field divided by the size of that charge. And that's how it's done.